Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to more XCOM, the Bureau. Uh, apologies for the first two videos. My computer tried to sabotage the recording again by lowering the mic volume. Though it wasn't too bad, so I left it in. But anyways, let's get back to the campaign and explore the rest of the base here. And then go get us our assigned our first mission. Alright, so XCOM is now active. However, ugh, ugh, sorry. However, I've already done all this stuff with this. Oh, there's the radio. Okay, so I gotta look at the radio. Uh, there's no base building in this. Unfortunately, there's none of the world hopping, random generated mission packs and everything. So, Two. message repeats. Two. Five, zero, Better make a note November, of this and talk to one of the eight, radio operators. Nine, you probably ought to run that by Operator Chelsky across the hall. Repeats. Might be important. Two, five, zero, November, eight, what is it, Will? Nine, two. Okay. I'd better go see what... See you later, Will. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Can't sprint. Yay. Okay. Stop walking inside me! Ah! Okay. Just come over and say, hey, man. Jeez. And everybody's smoking, because it's the 60s, of course. Okay. I mean, this is a... This is a good-looking game. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, some of the... the character models look a little off, but that's just because of this, the, the time period this game is made in. But, uh, they're not as clean as some other stuff. So, it looks like we got radio signals out here in Nevada. Uh, Georgia. Which has been, looks like it's been taken over. And we got DC and... Is that... Jersey? Huh. Alright, let's go talk to some folks. Ooh, oh man. Stop yawning, dude. You just woke up. Just running it over to the armory. I wasn't told about any deliveries. In case you haven't noticed, things are a little hectic around here right now. There's a war on? Sorry, Doc. But we're gonna have to hold you here while we check this with Central. Central? Are you kidding me? Oh, that's right. I forgot. None of you people can think for yourselves. Watch yourself, Doc. Lighthouse, point one. Point one, go for lighthouse. Hey, I got one of the white coats here with a hazmat delivery for the QM. Says he had it scheduled, but I don't have any transfers on my dock. Stand by, and I'll check the logs. I really don't have time for this. We don't have time for this. Every moment is vital to our success. Sorry, Doc. We got orders. You are not black. <laughs> that voice did not match that guy right there. <laughs> Who is this? A lady. Oh, what's this? Intercepted transmission, Fort Dietrich, Maryland. Sir, enemy has overrun. Our casualties are high. We have. We are having trouble mounting a counterattack. <laughs> the enemy was able to infiltrate and release our stores of. <laughs> Never had a chance. All staff evacuating. You the dispatcher? A little more than that, Agent Carter. I'm Chief Information Officer with the Bureau. Information Officer? What does that mean? I oversee the dispatchers, but in addition to that, I also manage our public communications and keep our profile low. And for now, my job is also keeping the public from knowing the scope of the threat. Um, kind of makes sense. I mean, you do have when you're at war, you do have to do propaganda. Those rioting mobs of civilians are the last thing we need right now. Exactly. You and your agents contain the enemy's attacks. And my operators will keep the public panic level in check. I'll try not to distract you too much. As long as you have a good reason. What do you need, sir? Are we broadcasting? Isn't the enemy jamming all communications? 
Yes, most broadcasting equipment is facing heavy interference, cutting effective range down to less than 5% of normal. Then how are you... Our equipment is significantly more robust. We're still communicating at approximately 90% of effective range. The best of the best, you know. What does the population know? They're worried about the communications blackout, but our operatives in the major cities are keeping them in line. Keeping them in line? You make it sound like they've declared martial law. Nothing as heavy-handed as that. Just a series of emergency preparedness tests. They'll be tense, but orderly. The radio's been playing a strange broadcast. Any idea what it means? I heard. It's probably an automated weather station nearby, but I suppose it might be instructions for picking up a weaker signal. A clever broadcaster could bypass the worst of the jamming that way. It could be survivors. We could bring them in. It's worth checking out. I'll have Operator Hughes run the radio while you give us the data. First set the range to... Wait, what? Set the range to 250. Now the direction? Set the direction north. And the frequency? Set the frequency to 155 kilohertz. Checking low frequency. Try again. I know there's a message out there. If you say so. First set the range to... Set the range to 100. Now the direction? Set the direction east. And the frequency? Set the frequency to 374 megahertz. Checking medium frequency. I've taken enough of your time. Yes, sir. Uh, let me go check that out again, because that sounds like a thing. Two five zero November eight nine two. Write this down. I got my little pad here. Two five zero November. Eight, nine, two. Okay, I think I got that. November's north. Yes, sir. Radio's been playing a strange broadcast. I heard. It could be survived. It's worth checking out. First, set the. Two fifty. Range to two fifty. Now the direction. North. Set the direction north. And the frequency? 892. Set the frequency to 892 megahertz. Checking ultra high frequency. Nothing. W wait. What is. It's Survivor. They're trying to warn others of the attack. Reply. Tell them they aren't alone. We'll do what we can to assist. We'll dispatch someone to help, but we'll also have to make sure they stop broadcasting immediately. We can't risk that information spreading. As long as they get rescued. Yeah! Yes, sir? Thanks for the information. Just doing my job. You're welcome to Lady Cakes. Alright, let's see. There's nobody else up there. Let's go upstairs. We did a thing! Woo! And I got no experience for it. Is there an experience? Oh, it's going to find Director Man. You were there. You saw what he was capable of. I did. It's just... His file paints a different picture. Looks like I haven't done in my holster. I don't. What's this? Okay, agents, let's begin. We going on another wild goose chase, Director? Not this time, agents. Because I brought in an expert agent who I expect to turn the tide. Allow me to introduce your new senior agent, Miss Angela Weaver. Agent Weaver, please begin. Good evening, agents. Now, we have reason to believe our target is... <laughs> is this some kind of joke? I assure you, I do not joke about potential infiltrate... Come on, miss. Get back to reception. Leave the real work to us, okay? Agent Percy, watch your tone. Director, how many concrete cases of the Outsiders have your agents uncovered to this date? Continue. Listen up, Agent Percy. Maybe you'll learn how to do your job. Yes, sir. Now, we have reason to believe an infiltrator. 
Perpetrator of compromised military command. And it was general. Okay. There's uh, John F. Kennedy again. Security installation is almost complete, Director Folk. A closed circuit security system has been installed in several of the facility's main rooms, as well as the corridors. This covers all major sections of the base, and at your request, we have added a monitoring station in your office. Recording options have also been provided. But some of the crew have concerns about installing cameras in a living and hygiene quarters. I told them I understand, but with potential infected, we just can't be too careful. We can't expect all surveillance to be in a place be in place soon. Pat Barclay maintenance. Hey lady, what you working on? You threw something in the garbage, what's this? Since occupying the quarters, I have observed several employees use the facilities and immediately exit without washing their hands. On top of the general lack of courtesy towards others working here is also unhygienic. While I understand this may seem minor in the grand scheme of things, I cannot stress enough the importance of cleanliness. How can we fight enemies from beyond our earth if we can't fight bacteria in our skin? Please do not sweep this valuable hygiene concern under the rug. It's concerned, Edmund, and it's in the garbage. Okay, so... <laughs> yeah, I see people do that crap all the time. That's freaking gross, man. Don't handle your freaking junk in the bathroom and then not wash your hands and touch doorknobs and... And people's food and all the other stuff people have to touch. I don't want to touch your freaking you crap on my stuff. You don't play well with others. I tend to see that as an asset. But you have a thing. Conclude. All signs show a pattern of systemic interference that cannot be explained by known enemies. Excellent work as always, Falk. But I'm not sure what you're suggesting. These activities aren't from the Reds. They aren't from any known source on Earth. from me, sir. You're not here in this facility by chance. I brought you here quite purposefully. I've been following your career for some time. Why me? I've been behind a desk since... Well, for a while. Yeah, but you were a hell of an agent before you sat behind that desk. And what's more, I know what put you behind that desk. The brass put me there. Sure, the brass made the call. But it was you who kept yourself there. I don't need another round of psychobabble. I had enough of that from the company shrinks after the incident. It was an accident, Carter. Beyond your control. Right, right, yeah. And next you tell me how I can't save everyone. It's too late for that. But you can save some of them. And right now, that might be enough. Right. Well, I'm with you, Falk. If only because, for all we know, this clown show you're running here is all that's left of our nation's defenses. Then that makes you one of the nation's best weapons. What do we know about the enemy? Very little. Before this morning, we only knew of scattered oddities. We weren't even sure if they were connected. Such as? Deposits of the substance called Illyrium were found in various locations across the nation. There were weather oddities. We received and investigated reports of what we called thinnings localized instances where the very fabric of reality itself seemed to be warping then dissolving and this was kept secret from whom the populace the news would have generated mass panic no the circle was kept quite small on this what is this place i mean when aliens from another world aren't attacking our planet this facility is essentially fulfilling its intended function right now it was created to respond to a potential invasion on domestic soil. Do all of these people work here? No. Typically, you won't find much more than a skeleton crew here. 
but certain carefully selected individuals across all military disciplines are aware of this facility's existence. In the case of a domestic invasion, they're under orders to arrive here. I never knew about this place. Well, based on your performance at Groom Range, I'd say that omission was a grievous oversight. Because <laughs> I'm awesome. What's our plan? Our first order of business is to get this facility running at full capacity. I believe our best shot at defeating an enemy with superior technology is to take that technology from them and make it our own. And we got the facilities to do that? We're still finishing construction on the lab, but we've already got one of the best leading the team, Dr. Dresner. And he won't be doing it alone. I'm in the midst of organizing field teams to be sent on recon and recruitment missions for other specialists. I'm heading down to the ready room. De Silva will meet you there and help you assemble a team. Get moving. All right. Let's keep moving out here. Explore the base. Get some exposition and such. Welcome aboard, sir. Hey, Cal. What do they look like? I heard some of them look like us. No way. I've seen them. They look like some kind of... I don't know. Some kind of monsters or something. Armory, engineering, firing range, sky ranger bay, infirmary, laboratory, operations, and ready room. Ready room. Let's see, there's operations. So I'm going to run. But what is E? Engineering. It's blocked off. Scientist man, out of the way. He lost pal. Well, ready room's that way. I didn't say I was lost. I said nothing. How's it going, Agent Carter? Yes, Director. And I'll tell him right away. I still got my sweet hand. Good Director Falk has personally chosen you for this initiative, and I will be your team leader. It's an honor to work with you, Agent De Silva. We're all honored, I'm sure, but if the director wasn't very clear about what we'd be doing, for the most part, is what you're familiar with. They're all experienced field agents, so investigation and recovery in hostile environments aren't new to you. You said it best in the service, and it brings all the normal risks of any field work involving hostiles. Yes, but Director Falk said something about unusual subjects? Yes, they might be different than you're used to. You mean, we're not going after the right? So, who are we looking for? We believe we have uncovered a new enemy of the state. We'll be investigating the exact nature of their organization. Oh, understood. I think. You can put us up against anybody in the world, sir. Yes, well, uh, about that. <laughs> the old man just called down. Says one of the scientists is missing. Disappeared, along with his research and high explosives. Does Falk think he's gone rogue? Maybe, but we can't risk a panic. Nils is tracking him down, but you need to get a team ready to help. Quick and quiet. Alright, there's a thing. Ian, while the rumor's true, some of us have been shut away down here in the war room since the initial attack. Reports of devastation have been bad enough... But can they really hide among us? How are we supposed to fight against that? Do we even know if this base is secure? Some of us have already been getting twitchy after long hours without seeing the sun. Rumors like this could lead to a riot. Or Steger, material specialist. Your squad has access to new equipment. European 32 caliber machine pistol, fully automatic, fixed by close range. Well, we want that. I think I'm gonna keep that snipper whiffle. That thing hits really freaking hard. Do we have a 
standard pack. I'm not sure what that does, but whatever. I have heal. Use this oh. power to keep your squad up and active, but be careful. It won't help an incapacitated agent and can't raise the dead. Okay. Oh, we got a new thing in rank two. Explosion to alien devices granted you strange capabilities. Their full potential yet unknown. So we have heal. Heals all damage for the entire squad. Exposure to the alien device is giving you the ability to heal all nine non-life threatening wounds in the squad. Okay. Oh, I can change my best color. Pantaloons. Yeah, we're fine on that. Um, I guess we're good, because I mean, the M14 is just a solid gun. I kind of want to just try that out, just see what it does. It says it's a close range weapon. I don't know. I think for this mission, though, let me see. If I swap that out, can I get the sniper rifle back? I can. Okay. Keep the pistol as a backup. I think for this mission, that'll be good. Alright. Oh, that's all he can take. Okay. Combat stems. What does this do? By releasing an aerosol cloud, the support agent briefly improves the accuracy, damage, and evasion of all nearby squad mates. Meh. Right there, the Hatfield. Ooh, it's got a snipper. What do you have? A critical strike. Okay. Is that it? Okay. Engineer, I'm going to definitely take this guy along. Shotgun! Can I give you something different? Okay. Cause those pants to flee an area. And this is the salt the commando. Ranges an opponent, drawing them out of cover and towards the agent. That could actually be kind of handy. But the game's all about fire maneuver tactics, so actually, I kind of don't want him. Well, we've already got all the classes. I kind of want to do, like, just two engineers. So, how many people can I take? Ooh, two agents. Okay. So first, we're going to bring Hatfield. Alright, we'll change their names. It's just no first name. And this guy... My buddy his son. So I we'll add him to the squad. And this guy, the engineer, this one is going to be. Oh, Honky Kong. So, we got that. Don't worry, Jack. I want to put you in. 
Uh, I think I'm gonna make you the commando guy. But they're gonna kinda go up first. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. And then, like this Jacksaw Jack. Just as his name is on his YouTube channel. And by all means, guys, definitely check out his channel. I know he probably hasn't uploaded things in a while. Um, not so much his fault. Let's see. Oh, that's right. And him to the squad. We need to make you look like a Ghostbuster. He looks like a Ghostbuster. I mean, it's not really a brown, is it? Is there not a brown? Well, that's close. There's not a red. Do that. the snipper. Why is he wearing like a freaking vest crap? This is dumb looking. Anyways, alright, let's get this show on the road. Uh, but yeah, next time we will figure Fire. out where the scientist the is. The morgue. There's no way out of there. Wait for me, Nils. I'll get your back. I'll wait as long as I can, but we can't risk leaving him with those explosives. I'm on my way. Alright. Take a left for the elevator. I'll send your team up to join you. Damn it. Roger that. And we will do that next time on XCOM. Later.